Welcome to the studios of CMU Public Television. Tonight, a Blue Division first round game between Brethren and St. Ignis next on Quiz Central. Quiz Central is brought to you in part by the CMU Bookstore. Your source for maroon and gold pride is the Central Michigan University owned and operated CMU Bookstore. T-shirts, sweatshirts, hats, and maroon and gold memories can be found at the CMU Bookstore. If it's textbooks you need, you'll find them new and used. If you're looking for technology, the CMU Bookstore's Microchips is an Apple authorized dealer. The CMU Bookstore, on campus in the University Center and online at cmubookstore.com. And by the Michigan Education Association and its 150,000 members, advocating for a world class public education that ensures a bright future for Michigan students and economy. Online at nea.org. And on the buzzers, with Central begins now. Hudson. St. Petersburg. Gondola. Egypt. Delaware. Christmas Carol. Good evening. Welcome on into Quiz Central. Great to have you along here tonight as we continue along in the Blue Division. Tonight we welcome in Brethren and St. Ignace LaSalle. They will do battle tonight and one of these two teams will move along in a quest to become the ultimate Quiz Central Grand Champion here in Season 8. We started off with 48 teams this season. We divided them into four separate 12 team divisions based on the size of the schools. Red, white, blue and gold divisions each crown a champion. The four members of those four division championship teams each receive a $2,500 one-year scholarship to Central Michigan University. Plus, we'll be giving away four textbook scholarships to four lucky Quiz Central seniors courtesy of the CMU Bookstore. Who will move along in the blue, Brethren or St. Ignace? Well, let's find out. Time for us to get right to our opening round here tonight on Quiz Central. Maroon and Gold Rush time. Two minute rapid fire round. First player to signal will get a chance to answer the question. Any wrong answers will allow the opposing team to answer the question. There's no consulting among team members here in round number one, and correct answers are all worth 10 points apiece. Everybody ready? Hands on the buzzers, two minutes on the clock. Quiz Central begins now. What American city, known for its sewer socialism, is home to Harley Davidson, the Miller Beer Company, and at Brethren Joe. Milwaukee. Yes, Milwaukee, Wisconsin is right. Brethren on the board first. In 1527, mutinous troops of Charles V sacked what city, also targeted in the 5th century by Geyseric's Vandals, that is the capital of Italy? St. Ignace Wyatt. Rome. Yeah, Rome is right. St. Ignace is on the board. What character briefly dates flapper Tanis Judic before returning to the Booster Club of Zenith in a novel satirizing conformity by Sinclair Lewis? Nobody knows. We'll go to the next question. Since 1962, which Ohio City's Fawcett Stadium has hosted the annual Hall of Fame game, which is played next door to its Pro Football Hall of Fame? Brethren Joe. Cincinnati. No, that's not the right one. St. Ignace, I've read the entire question. If one of you would like to take a shot at it. St. Ignace Jacob. Canton. Yes, Canton is right. What author described the murder of Davy Wexler's father in Tiger Eyes and the annoying brother Fudge in Tales of a Fourth Grade Nothing? No answer. Next question. What Southeast Asian nation, the site of the killing fields, ordered by Khmer Rouge leader Pol Pot after the Vietnam War, was once known as Kampuchea? <laughs> Brethren Joe. Cambodia? Yeah, Cambodia is the right answer. The word photon was coined by what chemist who defined bases as electron pair donors and depicted molecules using namesake dot structures? <laughs> Brethren Lucas. Bohr. No, not the right one. St. Ignis, Sarah. Lewis? Yes, Lewis is right. Gilbert Lewis. And time is up. And a good first round. Both teams doing well. St. Ignis 30 and Brethren 20 after round number one. Questions uh, that we did not know in the opening round. That the Sinclair Lewis novel was uh, called George Babbitt. 
Babbitt was the answer. Judy Bloom wrote Tales of a Fourth Grade Nothing. And uh, those are the only two that we missed. All right, you guys can take a little bit of a breather now as we introduce both teams in this blue division opening round game, starting off with the Bobcats from Brethren High School. Kelly, welcome. I'm Kelly Johnson, a junior at Brethren High School, and I'm actively involved in National Honor Society, Youth Advisory Committee, and Varsity Volleyball. I'm Alex Marsh, a senior at Brethren High School. I am actively involved in National <coughs> Honor Society, and I play on the golf team. Hi, I'm Joe Riggs. I'm a senior at Brethren High School. I'm actively involved on the National Honor Society and Youth, Advi Youth Advisory Committee. I actively play basketball and golf. Hi, I'm Lucas Richardson. I'm a junior at Brethren High School. I am in NHS and play basketball, baseball, track, and football. Sorry. Brethren is coached by Julie Riggs. The alternates are Mariah Milchin, Jessica Cordes, and Colton Podbilski. We welcome Brethren High School. And their opponents from St. Ignace LaSalle High School. Sarah, welcome. I'm Sarah Cullip, a senior at LaSalle. I run cross country track and play basketball. I'm Wyatt Orm. I'm a senior and I'm on the football team. I'm Molly Plotkin. I'm a senior. I'm in the band and on the bowling team. I'm Jacob Shogren. I'm a junior. I'm actively involved in band and athletics. And St. Ignace is coached by Pat Lannon. The alternates are J.C. Shimke and Andrew Shogren. We welcome St. Ignace High School. All right, let's head to our second round here tonight on Quiz Central. Good start for both teams. We'll see if they can keep it up here in our kickoff round. We'll kick it off with a combination of toss-up and bonus questions. I'll ask one toss-up with the team answering correctly, getting 10 points. After a correct answer, that team will be asked up to three bonus questions worth 10 points apiece. Consulting among team members is allowed only on the bonus questions, not on the original toss-up. And once a team incorrectly answers a bonus, we go back to a toss-up for both teams. So everybody get your buzzers ready. Here comes your first toss-up question. The form of this disease caused by P. vivax can recur while the form caused by P. falciparum is the deadliest. For centuries, it was treated with quinine protozoans of genus Plasmodium. They cause what tropical disease spread by mosquitoes? Brethren Joe. Malaria. Yeah, malaria is the right one. Ten points for brethren. Bonus questions now. No buzzers needed. You can confer. And Joe will take the answers from you. Give the following terms used in the theater. This is the process in which actors try out for a play, hoping to impress the director. Audition? Yeah, audition is right. Second bonus for you. This is an actor who is prepared to take over a role at a moment's notice in case of a leading actor's injury or illness. Understudy? understudy? Yeah, understudy is right and a chance to sweep. This is the process of specifying where actors will stand and how they will change position during a scene. Role play? No, that's not right. Looking for the word blocking or plotting. Either one of those I would have accepted. But able to get two on the bonus, and Brethren leads 50 to 30. Toss-up question, both teams. This figure sent George Lusk a letter marked from hell and enclosed half of a human kidney. Leather Apron was one name for this figure who carried out attacks in the alleys of Whitechapel. What still unidentified serial killer, Mur Brother and Alex? Jack the Ripper. Jack the Ripper is right. Nicely done. And he murdered five women in 19th century London. Alex got it. Ten points. Bonus questions now. No buzzers needed. You can confer. Joe, the answer's from you. Tritium is a rare radioactive form of the lightest element. Name that element whose atoms usually contain only one electron and one proton. Hydrogen. Yeah, hydrogen is right. Second bonus for you. This other isotope of hydrogen, sometimes called hydrogen 2, occurs in heavy water and has one proton and one neutron in its nucleus. No answer. Deuterium is the correct answer. Able to get one. On the bonus, 70 to 30, brethren on top, and a toss-up for both teams. One character in this work has a heart attack after seeing a wolf leap through a window. In it, Arthur Holmwood must kill his fiancée, Lucy Wistenra. The title character is killed by Jonathan Harker and Abraham Van Helsing. 
Name this Bram Stoker novel about a vampire. Brother and Alex. Dracula. Yes, Dracula is right. Took all the information in, gathered it, got the right answer, and bonus questions again now for Brother and no buzzers needed. You can confer. Name these PlayStation game characters. This blue hedgehog was unleashed in a 2008 game and appeared in a 2010 Free Riders racing game. Sonic. Yeah, Sonic is that hedgehog. Second bonus for you. In a 2010 game subtitled The Forgotten Sands, this character meets his brother Malik and uses a Jin sword to kill Ratosh. Nathan Drake. No, the answer we're looking for is the Prince of Persia. Able to get one on the PlayStation. So you play a little bit, but maybe not a lot. And there's the bell signaling the end of the round. It is 90 to 30, Brethren leading St. Ignace. We're going to take a time out, and we'll be back with the Perfect Ten right after this. Our dad believed that we can use television to inform children and adults in a positive way. And that's still a huge part of the work we do each day here. And we're parents too now. And as parents, we see that you have to make important choices for your children every day. And when it comes to children's television, PBS inspires families to learn about their world. Supporting PBS ensures that all children have this opportunity. This is why we're here. To help all children be more. My children are growing, and it's so amazing how quick they change. Has PBS made me a better father? The answer is yes. I mean, believe me, kids don't come with instructions. Sometimes you face those moments, it's like, what do I do? And you will be watching PBS Kids and thinking, wow, very wise. Finally, I got the answer. <laughs> and that's the kind of TV we need to be supporting today. Welcome back to Quiz Central Blue Division opening round game. Next time on the show, we stick with the Blue Division and we welcome in East Jordan and White Cloud. Hope you'll join us for that one. Right here, though, it's time to move into the perfect 10. That is round three here on Quiz Central, where each team will have a 60-second round and a separate set of 10 questions from their choice of three categories. Teams can either answer or pass a question in order to answer as many of the 10 as possible in 60 seconds. And then the opposing team will have 30 seconds to answer any that were passed and correctly answered questions we didn't get to. And each correct answer is worth 10 points. Teams you can consult in this round, no buzzers needed. The team that is trailing as first choice of the clues to the categories, St. Ignace, that would be you. The clues tonight are lights, camera, perfect 10, sale of the century, or baby, you can drive my car. Wyatt, what do you say? Let's do the cars, please. All right. Baby, you can drive my car. The category is, give these answers that start with the letters C-A-R from definitions. All right? Give these answers that start with the letters C-A-R from definitions. 60 seconds on the clock. Author of Silent Spring. Pass. Explorer who claimed modern Canada for France. Pass. Any substance that causes cancer. Yeah, that's correct. Capital of Venezuela. Caracas. Yeah, that's the right one. Tile board game involving medieval castles. Pass. Sea containing the island of Martinique. Carpian. 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 Could you say that again? The Carpian? No, that's not right. Tuskegee botanist who studied peanuts. Um, Carver. Yeah, George Washington Carver's right. Italian tenor who died in 1921. And didn't get the answer in and left two out there that we never heard. Able to get three correct answers. So 30 points. Brethren, golden opportunity here to steal. You'll have seven that you have a chance to steal. Again, the category is give these answers that start with the letters C-A-R from definitions. 30 seconds on the Brethren clock. Author of Silent Spring. Carter. No, that's not right. Explorer who claimed modern Canada for France. Cartier. 
I will take that. That is that's correct. Cartier, Cartier. Title board game involving medieval castles. Pass. C containing the island of Martinique. Caribbean. Yeah, the Caribbean's right. Italian tenor who died in 1921. Pass. And time is up. Able to steal two of those. Uh, Rachel Carson was the author of Silent Spring. Carcassonne is the tile board game. Enrico Caruso was the Italian tenor who died, and we never did get to those final two to even get them out. So 110 to 60, brethren on top. Brethren, two remaining categories for you to choose from in the perfect 10. And they are lights, camera, perfect 10, or sale of the century. Sale of the century. Sale of the century. The category is centuries of history. Give the centuries in which these events took place. All right? Centuries of history. Give the centuries in which these events took place. 60 seconds on the Brethren clock. Constantinople fell to the Turks. 14th. Nope, that's not right. Arab Spring. 17th. No, that's incorrect. First Crusade to the Holy Land. 12th. No, nope, that's not right. King John signed the Magna Carta. 17th. No, that's not right. Canadian Confederation of Four Provinces. 19th. Yes, 19th is right. Huge explosion in Russia's Tunguska region. 20th. Yes, 20th is right. Siege of the Alamo. 18th. No, that is not right. Foundation of Harvard. 18th. That's incorrect. Martin Luther excommunicated. 20th. Nope, that's not right. Jupiter's moons observed by Galileo. 14th. And that's not right. And that is all 10. Two correct answers. Tough category. 20 points on the board. 130 to 60. Brethren on top. St. Ignace, golden chance for you now here. If you know your centuries, there are eight out there to try to steal. Again, the category is centuries of history. Give the centuries in which these events took place. 30 seconds on the clock. Constantinople fell to the Turks. 15th? Yes, 15th is right. Arab Spring. Pass. First Crusade to the Holy Land. 13th. No, that's not right. King John signed the Magna Carta. 14th? No, that's not right. Siege of the Alamo. 19th. Yes, 19th is right. Foundation of Harvard. 17th. Yes, that's correct. Martin Luther excommunicated. 17th. No, that's not right. Jupiter's moons, and time is up, didn't get that in. Stole three of those to pull to within 40 at 130 to 90. The uh, centuries we did not know, the Arab Spring just took place. 21st century for the Arab Spring. The first crusade to the Holy Land is the 11th. King John signed the Magna Carta in the 13th. Martin Luther excommunicated in the 16th and Jupiter's moons observed by Galileo in the 17th century. All right, Perfect Ten is in the books. Brethren 130, St. Ignace 90, and a very important home stretch round coming up for both teams, and that is round four. As we head down the home stretch, I'm going to have more toss-up questions followed by bonus questions for the team that answers the toss-up correctly. All correct answers are worth 10 points apiece. Get your buzzers ready, a very important toss-up question. This hero's childhood friend became the villain Hush, and one of his partners became the Red Hood. In the Nightfall story arc, his back is broken by Bane. His butler, Alfred, Brethren Alex. Batman. Yeah, Batman is right. I think you beat about four people to the buzzer just barely. Looking for Batman, this foe of the Joker, whose alter ego is Bruce Wayne. Ten points for Brethren. Bonus questions. No buzzers needed. You can confer. Name these West African nations. This country, founded by freed slaves in the 19th century, has a capital named for James Monroe. Uh, Nigeria. No, that's not the right one. It's Liberia. So nothing on the bonus. Toss-up question. Both teams, get your buzzers ready. One Greek creation myth states that Cronus made the first race of men out of this metal. Brother and Alex. Iron. No, not the right one. St. Ignace, I'll finish for one of you. 
Zeus visited Danae as a shower evoking this metal, and the hero Jason retrieved a ram's fleece made of this metal. Name this metal also produced by the cursed touch of Midas. St. Ignace Wyatt. Gold. Yeah, gold's the right one. Used all the info just like you needed to. Ten points. Bonus questions now for St. Ignace. No buzzers needed. You can confer. On New Year's Day, 1959, Fulencio Batista fled from a Caribbean island nation. Name that nation wherein Fidel Castro seized power. Cuba. Yeah, Cuba is right. Second bonus for you. Cuban exiles backed by the CIA tried to overthrow Castro in this disastrous 1961 invasion. The Bay of Pigs? Yeah, Bay of Pigs is right and a chance to sweep the bonus. The Bay of Pigs invasion left the Cuban Revolution stronger than ever, according to this Argentine-born author of the Motorcycle Diaries. Cruz? Nope, not the right one. His name is Che Guevara. But able to get two on the bonus and pull to within 20. It's 140, 120, and that bell signals the end of the round. This is a good one. We are close, and it's going to come right down to the final round. That final round, the final countdown, is coming up right after this. My child who's watching Super Y, and it said, what letter makes the sound er? And my two-year-old is jumping up and down going, R, R, R. <laughs> I love that. I wish I knew the genius that came up with Dinosaur Train. I mean, what little boy especially doesn't like dinosaurs and trains and to put them together in one show? My family does without a lot of stuff, but I would be horrified if we had to do it without PBS. Welcome back. If you would like more information about Quiz Central, check out our website, wcmu.org, or check us out on Facebook. This one's going to come right down to the buzzer here tonight. A good battle between Brethren and St. Ignace. Right now it's Brethren leading 140 to 120, and time for us to head to our final round, final countdown time. This is a two-minute rapid-fire round. First player to signal gets a chance to answer the question. Any wrong answers will allow the opposing team to answer the question. There is no consulting among team members here in the final countdown. Correct answers are all worth 10 points apiece. All right, everybody ready? Hands on the buzzers, two minutes on the clock. The final countdown begins now. A July 2012 power outage affected over half the population of what Asian country? where the BJP opposes the Congress party of Mamohan Singh. <laughs> Brethren Alex. Japan. No, that's not right. St. Ignace, I've read the question. If one of you would like to take a shot at it. St. Ignace Wyatt. South Korea. No, that's not right. We'll go to the next question. In what novel does the Battle of Five Armies occur after Bard the Bowman kills the dragon Smog, who is enraged after being robbed by Bilbo Baggins? St. Ignace Wyatt. Hobbit. Yeah, the Hobbit is right. St. Ignace within 10. What lake contains the Apostle Islands and Isle Royale is drained by the St. Mary... Brethren Joe. Superior. Yes, yeah, Superior is right. In the 1830s, Matthias Slyden and Theodore Schwann proposed that plants and animals are made of what? St. Ignace Wyatt. Cells. Yes, cells is right. What alternative band named for a feature on In-N-Out Burger signs and fronted by Tyler Glenn had hits with Animal and 2011's Everybody Talks? No answer. Next question. What nation, the only one to border Brunei, owns the states of Sarawak and Sabah on the northern coast of Borneo and has its capital at Kuala Lumpur. Again, no buzzer. Next question. Which British poet described long fields of barley and of rye in the Lady of Shalott and wrote, It little profits that an idle king in Ulysses. And again, no buzzer. 150, 140, Brethren leads. There are helium neon and free electron examples of what devices that use stimulated emission of photons to produce a tightly focused beam of light. 
St. Ignace Wyatt. Laser. Yes, laser, and we are tied. In 1875, Matthew Webb became the first. Time is up, and we are tied at 150. That last answer by Wyatt tied it up. Nicely done. Nice round of applause for both teams here. Here are the questions you didn't answer that might have made the difference. Uh, India was that country that had the power outage early. Uh, Neon Trees is the alternative band, if you've ever heard of them. Malaysia has its capital at Kuala Lumpur. And Alfred Lord Tennyson is a British poet who wrote to Ulysses. And I did not get to that final question enough to even talk about. So here we go. 150, 150 time for overtime here tonight. In overtime, here's what happens. It's a toss-up question. You're all playing as individuals, no consulting among team members. I'll read the question. If you ring in and get it right, your team wins. If you ring in and you're incorrect, I'll finish the question for one of the individuals on the other team. One of them can ring in. If they get it right, they win. If nobody gets a question right, we'll go to a second overtime because someone has to answer correctly in overtime in order to get the victory. Everybody ready? Hands on the buzzers. Overtime, here's the question. This man was called Big Turtle after he was captured by the Shawnee Chief Blackfish. He helped link Virginia to the Transylvania colony by exploring a route over the Cumberland Gap. The wilderness road to Kentucky was blazed by what American frontier? Brethren Joe. Boy. That's not right. St. Ignace, by what American frontiersman? Too late. Nobody gets it. Daniel Boone was the man. All right. Another question. <laughs> Everybody gets your buzzers ready. Second overtime. This nation has a separatist challenge from an autonomous region led by Artur Mas of the Convergence and Union Party. This nation is currently led by the People's Party of Prime Minister Mariano Rajoy. Catalonia is part of what European nation with capital Madrid? Brethren Joe. Spain. Spain is right and Brethren wins. Nicely done. Nice round of applause. You can clap. Joe barely beat about four other players to the buzzer because once I said Madrid, I think everybody went for it. Joe buzzed in first. Congratulations. Brethren will move on to a second round game in the Blue Division. St. Ignis doesn't get any closer to this. Nice job tonight. Uh, two very competitive and equal teams, but Brethren will move on. For those of you seniors on the St. Ignis team, best of luck in your future endeavors. The rest of you underclassmen, hopefully we'll see you back here again next season. Good one here tonight as we go overtime. Next time in the Blue Division, East Jordan takes on a white cloud. Hope you'll join us for that. Good night, everybody. Quiz Central is brought to you in part by the CMU Bookstore. Your source for maroon and gold pride is the Central Michigan University owned and operated CMU Bookstore. T-shirts, sweatshirts, hats, and maroon and gold memories can be found at the CMU Bookstore. If it's textbooks you need, you'll find them new and used. If you're looking for technology, the CMU Bookstore's Microchips is an Apple authorized dealer. The CMU Bookstore, on campus in the University Center and online at cmubookstore.com.